Budgie bird and one with Budgie bird and fun. Budgie bird and one with lots of Budgie fun. Oh yeah, you got to this too. <laughs> Welcome back guys, Budgie Breeder 1 here. So, you guys, this is the last chick that fledged the nest. And I probably won't have any chicks until, like, the female gets some rest. Because all I want is, like, rainbow budgies, to be honest. But, um, I'm guessing that I could actually breed, um, Cotton and Dewey together. And see what kind of chicks I, I can get. But... Yeah, she she is eating on her own, and you guys like she was a slow grower, but look how beautiful she turned out to be. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, and she's been eating. Some of the shells are broken, so somebody already contacted me about her yesterday. All I have to do is text them and they'll be on their way to come get this new baby. And I don't know if I should record that or if you guys would want to see that. I don't know. But the person seemed nice. He seemed a little educated about budgies and I'm sure she'll go to a great home. Down here is my buddy. Look at him. Cashew. So Cashew is molting guys and his feathers are coming in nice. He has green at the top, blue at the bottom. And those colors are going to be more and more vibrant as he molts. He has a little pin, a little bit of pin feathers on his uh, face. He didn't let me take them off yet. I don't know if he likes me to print him anymore. He's starting to act a little um, grown. And when Budgie start to molt after their first molt, they're gonna start to be a little um a little ignorant and they're just not gonna wanna really pay attention to you when they're molting. And that's just a part of them growing up. That's just how their mood changes. Just like teenagers, their mood change. And yeah. Look at her. She's just printing herself. She's fully flooded. She don't know that she can fly. I don't think she can fly yet anyways. Because she's a little heavy. I think she might go back in her nest box. Yep. Alright, over here. We have Rocket. My buddy. He's... Um, he is tame still. Um, uh, it's just certain things that I can't do with him that I can do with Cashew. But he's just... He'll still let me get on his. I'm, uh, I say he'll still let me get on his finger. He'll still um, step up on my finger and whatnot. It's just these guys back here. Like I should have spent a little more time taking. I mean, taming them instead of um, breeding. But it is what it is. Ernie. I did tame him, but like if you get a budgie and then get them around the untamed ones, they always become untamed. But yeah, that's them. And there's um, Marceline back there. And where's the finch? Oh, right there. I'm cleaning the cage out. I already got the bottom cleaned out. I just need to take this off. All right, like like I was trying to say before my camera died, I need to take this out. This is like what separated the breeding part. Which was down here. And there's the other birds from the other birds so they won't fight. And it's just the bottom part to my other cage that they were in before this one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you them. So those are my rainbows. Uh where he go? Okay, there you are. I see you Dewey. He's trying to run away from the camera. Or trying to talk to Cashew. But yeah, that's them. That's Sherbert, that's Splash, and Dewey. Alright, I'm about to clean out the cage. Well, I'm about to change the cage up and I'll be back. Okay, you guys. This is what the cage looked like. 
all the way finished with all the birch in there. So we just have ladders. No toys. They chew on them too much and they might choke. That's what I heard. But if you have like hard plastic ones, they shouldn't. But yeah, they're all back in the same cage now. And now I feel relieved because it's not a lot of food that I'm going to have to vacuum up every day. So yeah, that's the cage. And I'll see you guys next time.